You feel rain dropping on your head? Where does the rain go after it hits the ground? Um, into cracks. Oh yeah, like this crack here. And then where? Then into the river. It goes into the river? Yeah. Let's go see how the river's doing after all this rain. Hey, can I ask you real quick though? Where does all the water and the river come from? The sky, the rain. Oh, and it flows down the mountain into the river, huh? Where's all the water going to? Um, the ocean. It flows to the ocean? Wow, that's cool. Let's go explore. Look at this. The water drips right down through the rocks. Okay, hang on. I'm just going to do this quick video. I'm showing people today how water makes it to the river. All right, Monty. So you remember how earlier we were at the river and we were talking about how water from the river flows down a mountain and into what? The river. Yeah, into the river. And then the river flows down the mountain more into the ocean. Yeah, eventually maybe into the ocean or into a lake. So we're going to do an experiment that shows that in action. OK, we're using some paper and a spray bottle and what we're going to do is we'll wrinkle up the paper and then we're going to put it in this box to kind of contain it i think that might work the best and then spray blue water on it and see where the blue water flows so we ended up uh, just taping on these to you know keep them in place a little bit and monty here's what i want you to do i want you to take a look at this and i want you to draw where you think there might be a river that forms. So we're gonna spray the water on there and I want you to draw where you think a river would be or something like that. Yeah. You think a river might end up there? Mm-hmm. Here, that does goes down here. Oh, so okay, so draw, you think there? All right, draw on that. Let's see if you're right about it. Okay, anywhere else that you think a river might form? Here. Okay, like going going where? So starting there, draw, you draw. Okay, kind of going oh, down that way. I'm going to turn it around and look at it this way too. Oh. I noticed that you went right into that crease there. Why'd you choose that crease to draw on? Because I wanted it to go from there to over here, then I can keep going mm. with that water from there. Oh, well, we'll see. Okay. All right, you ready to go give it a try and see how you did? All right, let's do it. So we've got our spray bottle set to um, the misty setting and we've put blue food coloring in our water. So it's uh, gonna resemble rain. And Monty, I just want you to just 
keep spraying this. Spray it and spray it. And let's the see what the whole thing. Just put, spray a bunch of water on it. Yeah, I think so. So where did you notice the rivers ran? I noticed one that went right here, right where you thought it would go actually. And another one that was here. You can still see the blue from there. Like spray it, yeah, see how that, and there too, right? Yeah, nice. Yeah, like, that's perfect. And then what about here? I think I saw one kind of here too in this ridge. Can you, yeah, look at that. So this is just like a, how a river works. The water that lands in this area, it all collects and it runs down to one point, the lowest point, and then it follows that river down. You see one? Oh yeah, there's one on that side, huh? Wow. What about over here? When you spray up here, where does it go? You see that river right there? You know what that is? That's not a river because it doesn't flow. A river flows, right? But what's that? The ocean. Yeah, that's kind of right. Or a, a lake or something, right? That's like uh, the lake or the ocean that the river flows into. Yeah, all that water that's up here, it flows into these lakes and oceans. Wow. That's pretty cool. Look, you can make a lake right here, I bet. There's the lake, it's starting to gather. That's how rivers form, and that's actually how land forms too. As the rivers flow down, they carry away the sediment and the rock and dirt, and they carve out these deep riverbeds they tumble the rocks. That's why when you go to rivers, you all always see kind of unique rocks near the rivers. So that's how that works. I, I really hope that you guys give this a try at home. I hope that you have a river nearby that you can go to. That's being outside and nature is certainly one of the few safe things to do right now. So I hope you guys give that a try. All right. See you soon.